Okay. So we're going to look at some blues progressions in E um, and then in G. So for the key of E, we're just looking at rhythm here in 12 bar. I'm going to go ahead and start with first finger, second fret, fifth string. My right hand, the pick, is going to play the top two strings only. And the progression is like so. One, two. strings. Now we go back, just playing the top two strings. Turnaround is going to be seventh fret power chord to build up the top string, and then fifth fret power chord built off top string, A chord, and then back to top two strings and second and fourth fret. Back to B power chord. So I'll play that one more time. So we've got top two strings and second and fourth fret here on the A string. Three, four. And down one string for the first finger, now playing second fourth on the D string and the pick is playing the A and the D string. Seventh fret, B string, fifth fret, A string, and then back to the E, and then back to conclude seventh fret, B string. Now, if we go into the key of G, it's a little bit different. Um, we are going to be playing with the anchor. This first finger is going to be on the third fret top string, playing the actual G note. And then your ring finger goes over to the 5th fret of the A string playing a D. And your pick still only plays the top two strings. But the difference is, is we're going to be stretching, keeping these two here, and then bringing the pinky over to the 7th fret of the A string to play the blues progression. So it's going to go, so the movement is going to be ring finger and pinky going from 5th fret to 7th fret. And this stays the whole time, this index finger. Let's try that out. And then when we go to the four, that was the one, we're going to bring everything down one string but staying on the same frets. Same movement with the ring finger and the pinky. And we go back up to the one. to the D, the power chord build off the 5th fret, and then on the A string, and then sliding down to the 3rd fret to the C, power chord built off the 3rd fret, and then going back to the 1, so that's the, and then concluding with the D, the 5, let's play that one more time, starting with the 1, the G. string for each finger, same frets, back to the 1G, 5th fret D, built off the A string, C, 1, back to the D. Now, of course, that shape can be put on any fret to change the key. For example, we can go up to the 5th fret and create the key of A with the exact same pattern, just not the same frets. So if we start on A, that's your 1. Pinky's now moving from the 7th to 9th fret. Go down one string to the D. 4. Back to the 1, which is A. Again, pinky just moving. And then we're going to go up to the E, the 7th fret, which is the 5. 4 D. And then back to A. Let's go ahead and just give it a little close-up and try that one more time. So built off of the 5th fret here, um, we're going to move ring finger to pinky from 7th to 9th fret. Down one string to the 4. Back to top string. And then E power chord built off A. 
D power chord, built off D, or the A string again, and back to the groove. And that's three different keys.